Hey, Sagittarius. All right, well, welcome to highest, the high in light, love, peace, purpose, strength, wisdom, courage, and truth, grateful for awareness, open to healing and change. God, what messages uh, do you have for Sagittarius, please? God, what messages do you have for Sagittarius, please? Thank you so much for clarity and um, confirmation and allowing me to get the message um, out with compassion. God, what messages do we have for Sagittarius, please? No, I will not order. What messages do we have for Sagittarius, please, God? What messages do we have for Sagittarius, please? Okay. God, what messages do we have for Sagittarius, please? All right. We're going to get six cards, okay? Looks like this came out first. Let's just do it this way. All right. Next three. God, what messages do we have for Sagittarius, please? All right. All right, all right. All right, lots of pinnacles here. You focused on your money, your security. Okay, last card, please. God, what messages do we have for Sagittarius? All right. Typically, I don't read in reverse those unless I'm guided to. So for the overall energy, we have you just kind of going within, okay? Um, releasing some type of burden, maybe from someone in the past that was a bit narcissistic, a bit, um, and I know people throw that word around loosely, but it is what it is. Someone that was very controlling, very maybe jealous, uh, just not typically a good spirited person, um, at least in this moment now at this point in their journey right now so you're letting go of something you i feel like you were looking at something with rose colored glasses but you realize you know what the past was a past for a reason your ex is an ex for a reason and you said enough is enough you're tired you're at the end of this cycle so now you're focusing more on self focusing more on um uh what you're allowing focusing more on who you're allowing in your space your energy you're taking a look at why why did i even allow this person to treat me this way you know you're you're just going within okay taking some time out good for you okay so that's the overall energy just taking some time to be alone um and focus on yourself uh tiptoeing into you pretty much you're not diving in but you're slowly coming to terms with okay like maybe some past childhood trauma or some past hurt or pain grief you've held on to for a long time okay um let me just look at the cards for a minute yeah you're definitely learning to trust your intuition you're learning to trust yourself okay it's almost it feels like you're not looking on the outside for answers where maybe in the past you're always like oh i want to do this or i should do this and you're calling your friends you're calling your mom you're calling your dad but it's more like no i'm going to trust myself i'm going to go within i'm going to pray about it i'm going to talk to god about it like that kind of thing all right um so either way it goes it's like you're giving to yourself now, okay? You're realizing I don't have to wait on somebody to give to me. I can give to myself. Um, and we're going to clarify everything. But you're just looking at things. It looks like someone kept you waiting in the past, okay? Someone kept you waiting. And, like, they didn't realize who you were, okay? Um, and you're realizing I can make myself happy. Like, yeah, in the past, maybe this person was... The person I want to be with, the person I look to for happiness, the person I look to for answers, the person you felt could fix it all. But you know what they say, um, a relationship, a healthy relationship is involves two whole people. There's no one that completes you, can complete you, you complete yourself, okay? And it's like you're realizing that, you're realizing like you got the juice and the squeeze, okay? And you're, you're giving to yourself and you're expecting someone to give to you. You're not just taking a little bit anymore. You're not just taking pieces and bits and pieces of love or bits and pieces of attention. It's like, 
no more hey gm text or gm beautiful or gm handsome or what you doing like no you either want to talk to me or you don't okay i even feel like somebody sending you a message and you this how you looking at this phone like look either you want to talk to me or you don't or you know what come around when you do want to talk okay come around when you do want to talk but you're just really in a space where you want someone that's going to be able to give to you the way you give to them and whoever this person was in the past cannot it was a burden it was too heavy and you realize you didn't deserve that okay somebody could have been abusive what's the six of pentacles about for sagittarius please what's the six of pentacles about for sagittarius please yeah what I wanted. So here we have the, uh, the, uh, um, what's it? Five of Cups. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. You were with someone that didn't see your worth. Someone that was more interested in partying, having a good time, um, and constantly, like, played you, turned their back on you, and now you're like, I want something more than that. So you gotta get out of this energy of regret. Um, you have to get out of this energy of feeling like you're missing out on something. Maybe some of y'all feel like, still feel like, you know, this was your person. Like you're needing to see something from a new perspective. You're needing to be still. Good job, because you are. And see something from a new perspective. You, you're still looking back. You're still looking back wondering like, gosh, was that my person? Did I mess this up? Um, are they going to come back? When truth is, you don't really need them to, or you don't even really want them to. It's more of a situation that you're just used to them being around. But it's like, okay, they're around, but what are they contributing? Yeah, you got the emperor and the emperor showing up in reverse. It wasn't a good situation. It wasn't a healthy situation for you. What is the Queen of Pentacles? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Suppose we don't need three. It's whatever. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. You're sick of not being happy, okay? You're focused on being happy now. You're focused on being fulfilled emotionally, okay? You're focused on your money and what's on the bottom. And you don't want anybody that has bits and pieces, like I said, to give to you. Now, somebody may come around to you um, apologizing, but this is going to be the same person that kept you stuck. Or the same person, not even that kept you stuck because you know what? Nobody made you stay but yourself. So we're going to say, is it going to be the same person that didn't have much to offer you? Is it going to be the same person that you broke your own boundaries for, okay? That caused you to not even cause you because I don't want to blame nobody else for you accepting and allowing bad treatment. But either way, somebody may come to you an apology. Um, oh, I love when this happens. Hold on. So this to me always reminds me of, have y'all seen that meme where like God is holding or Jesus is holding like a big teddy bear? And it's a little girl with this beat up, raggedy, toe up teddy bear. And the little girl's holding on to that teddy bear so tightly, right? And God is like, look, just give it to me. And because God is like, I have something so much better, bigger for you, something that you deserve. And it's like, look, look at the way he's, they're looking. Look at their face. So this is you. This is you. And this is God, right? And God is saying, let it go. I have something for you. Something that will make you feel better M mentally, emotionally, um, financially, spiritually right and you're like but i like it you know and you, but you're looking back because what god has is very alluring and you know it's what you need but it's just a it's a, a need to release like i said it's a need to release it's a need to let that burden go it's a need to let that situation go because it's too heavy and you don't deserve it and it's time for you to get something new All right what do we have for this nine of cups for sagittarius Ace of Swords. You're you're in a space where you're like kind of facing the truth. Like I said, putting your toes in the water, tiptoeing into the truth. Why did I allow this? Why am I um, allowing bad behavior? What is it about me? Do I not believe in myself? And if that's the case, cool. 
why don't I believe in myself? Like it's getting down to the heart of the matter, you know? What do we have for the high priestess? What do we have for the high priestess? High priestess. Yeah. I feel like this is just your intuition. I feel like slowly but surely you're realizing things. Like, even if you're thinking back, you're thinking back to when you couldn't make a decision, right? When you didn't want to make a decision, but you finally did. And you're realizing that things had to fall apart in order to fall together. You're trusting your intuition. You're, um, like I said, you're getting these ideas, these thoughts out of, not really out of nowhere, but that's how it feels. And you're just really shocked at what you're finding out, what you're realizing. What do we have for the Seven of Pentacles? Wow. Wow. Seven of Pentacles. Letting something go. Time for a new cycle. Death. So this could be ego. This could be um, physically ending a situation. But either way, this kind of is powerful. It says it all. It's like no more waiting on this person. No more waiting for them to see your worth. No more waiting for them to change. No more waiting for them to do better. No more waiting for them to ask you out or take you out or spend time with you. You're letting it go because it's time. It's time for a new cycle to begin, okay? You want to be happy. You know you deserve to be happy, okay? Same card on the bottom. What's the sun? Okay. The sun is coming unstuck, okay? You're, you're leaving something that had you stuck. You're, you're, you're stepping into like your, you're focusing more on the spiritual aspect of your life. Like I said, just diving deep, okay? Maybe you're committing to diving deep. Maybe you're committing to being happy, all right? But you're releasing something that was very hard for you to release. That was very toxic, okay? Very unhealthy for you. Didn't make you feel good. You're ready for a new beginning here. You, like I said, you made a choice, okay? And though it may not feel like it's Sagittarius, the wheel is turning in your favor. It's going to turn. This is a faded situation. It was meant to happen. It's time for you to find balance. This situation helped you more than it hurt you, okay? And you're going to see how abundant your life begins. Right now, it may feel like, oh my gosh, I'm losing everything. Like this was person was all I had or whatever. But no, no, no. This person was a burden. They put you in situations that caused you to be... Um, in competition with others, they caused you a lot of inner conflict because you were literally going against yourself, okay? What else do we have? What um advice do we have for Sagittarius? What advice do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, that was perseverance, but it's up that's over. All right, discipline. Yes, discipline. I mentioned that, committing. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So, yeah, you're leaving this person and perseverance is on the bottom. You're leaving this person. Let's say that I know what I can do. I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. Exact same message, pretty much. So, it's like you recognize what you need to do and you're doing it. And it may feel like, oh, my gosh, I'll never be able to stop thinking about them. I'll never be able to um, let them go. Like, I'll never love again. Girl, boy, that's all fear, ego. We let that go. Attraction, okay? Attraction. The more you love yourself, the faster you will, um, the more you attract those who love you. You know what I'm saying? Those you who deserve you. Sun and stars. So I feel like it's very important for you to get out in nature just to sit, just to be still, like 10 minutes a day five minutes a day. Just get out and sit down. Be still. Leave your phone in the house. Go outside uh, and just sit in that nature. You know, nature is healing. So I feel like it's just really necessary for you to do that. Let's get one more message, please. For Sagittarius. One. Let's get three cards. Two. Three. Yeah. This could have been somebody you were dealing with that was at work. But either way, you're going to make a decision. A decision is made here. Some of y'all may be going to court about something. Maybe someone stole something from you from work, okay? But either way, you felt stuck. Um, you're realizing that something was not working because someone was a thief. Thief of your joy. Thief of your peace, okay? 
and walking away was literally the best thing you could do. Let me do these. Just want to give you a good reading, Sagittarius, just for fun. I like these cards. What do we have for Sagittarius, please, guys? Any last message for Sagittarius, just for confirmation. One card flipped out. And we're going to get maybe one or two more. Okay, it's getting kind of, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of hectic. All right. Anything on the bottom? Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. There's that word again. Okay. We'll keep that here so you can see it. Breathe it in, fill it in. Okay. All is not lost. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, this person just helped you get better for the next person. He, they were practice. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment. Yes, having fun. Love it. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving. And that reminds me of this first card. Giving and receiving. Like, that's what you want. That's what you deserve. Um giving and receiving affection, I'm sorry, and falling in love, all right? Last card, what can Sagittarius do or concentrate on this week to make themselves feel better, to focus on their healing journey? What can Sagittarius do to make themselves feel better, to focus on their healing journey? That's way too many, okay? Well, maybe I should have taken on. I mean, because it's a bunch of viewers. Everybody don't need to do the same thing. Sing. Sagittarius, sing and move, okay? Whether it's dancing in your room, joining a, a class to dance, just it's important to move, get that energy out, get that, move that stagnant energy around and sing, okay? Good luck, Sag. See you soon. Bye-bye. It's not stopping, y'all. That's so weird. Oh my God.